Uh, now we are with Dr. Sarah Ellison, Senior Consultant at Oxantia. Um, what's the importance of the current summit for you? Well, I'm really excited to be here, surrounded by really innovative Turkish entrepreneurs. It's really to network with these entrepreneurs and also the wider stakeholders here today, investors. What are the major challenges in commercializing research outputs and what strategy do you employ to overcome them? So there's a lot of challenges from the technology transfer manager perspective from within the university. There can be challenges in terms of, so especially in the UK but also in other countries. There may be one or two universities who are really expert at commercializing the technology that, that comes from the academic research. However, a lot of universities are just not used to doing that and they don't have those underlying systems and processes and policies that really support and incentivize the academic researchers to be able to develop their technology to become eventually a product or service on the market. So that's one of the challenges. Another can come from a higher level, so if you have policies set at a, a national level, these can create incentives which sometimes hold, they're supposed to promote innovation but they can hold them back. Uh, what do you do to overcome them? <laughs> so in terms of the internal processes and systems, you can do a lot of internal marketing to raise awareness amongst both the professional staff supporting the entrepreneurial academics but also to support and raise the capability and awareness of academic researchers on what is possible and what skills that they will need to be able to succeed. Um, what are the key elements of a successful technology transfer process and how do you provide guidance at each stage? So the technology transfer process is it's actually quite iterative in nature. So typically within the university environment the first step is to identify innovative projects that will have a potential in the market. Um, so there's that initial stage of internal uh, searching and finding those innovations and then there's prioritization, resource management and thinking about what is the core IP and how to protect that. There'll be understanding the market in greater detail, then there'll be translating so what route can be used to commercialize this innovation, will it be a licensing opportunity, maybe we need to form a separate spin-out and the decision around that is quite complex and there's multiple different variables including importantly what the academic researcher would like as well as the market need, the funding and where, where the sources of funding are. And what is your vision for the evolution of the technology transfer and entrepreneurship ecosystem? What are your future plans? So at Oxentia, we see, we, we support entrepreneurs from a mo whole multitude of different countries around the world through our accelerator programs. So we are really passionate about seeing and meeting the needs of those countries through those programs. So we provide training and mentoring. And we have mentors all over the world. We have local partners so that we really understand those ecosystems so that we can accelerate the technologies forward and enable them to grow, to scale, to internationalize their businesses. Thank you for accepting our request uh, for this short interview and also your time. Nice to meet you. <laughs>